Yo, we're out here at Untied in LA, and last video we did a $300 challenge. Today, we're gonna be doing 250 bucks. Unfortunately, the jet ski is not 250 bucks, but I did find 10 great affordable options that I think will be good for your shoe collection. First up, we have the Nike Dunk Low South Beach. Now this is actually a women's drop, but I wanted to incorporate it on the list simply because last time we didn't put any women's shoes in the mix. And I know we got some ladies in the audience as well that are looking for some kicks. So I wanted to make sure I found a couple things for y'all too. Current market on these is around 200 bucks and Untied is also asking $200 for the sneaker as well. So when you think about competitive pricing plus fees that come along with other websites, this is actually a pretty solid deal. And I think definitely a worthy sneaker for the summertime a good rotation shoe throughout the fall and winter time as well and definitely a solid option when it comes to some of the latest dunks that have released over the past couple months so let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section and let's take it to the next shoe and that's the air jordan one low og mystic navy one of the main reasons why i put this shoe on the list is because i have these in my rotation and i wear them often these in particular and the neutral grays i love both of these shoes so i definitely wanted to recommend a lot of people when it comes to this shoe because it's kind of like the royals but it's not it's got that darker vibe and i know some people they don't like the fact that the leather is shiny on the black part of the shoe and it's more dull when it comes to the blue and the kind of contrast is not too well with some people in certain lighting i can understand that part too but overall, when it comes to a solid rocker, an Air Jordan 1 Low, summertime, mixing it with a bunch of different outfits, even in the wintertime, I wear these in the rain a lot. You name it, I think it's a great all year round type sneaker. And with Untied having these priced at 180 bucks, I feel like it's a solid price. I don't know if it's the best price in the world, but again, like I said, compared to other websites after fees and everything, you're probably gonna be spending somewhere around that 180 bucks as well. Now, next up on the list, a sneaker that I think might be a little bit high, but I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section the air jordan one high taxi now when it comes to this release in particular i think they did a great job on this shoe i feel like so many people are sleeping on these and i get it there's a lot of hype behind jordan fours right now so it's causing a lot of air jordan ones to go under the radar and you'll be able to get them for just over that retail price now when it comes to other resale markets you might see these around low 200 dollars untied has them priced at 250 that's going to be competitive with other resale shops but at the same time i could understand why people may shy away from it if they've never purchased from untied before but one thing that i love about untied as well they track sales and once you have a certain amount of spend with a certain business typically they start to reward you just like if you were to go to your local restaurant and you get you know nine meals and the 10th one is free i'm not saying they're going to give you a free pair of shoes but i can definitely guarantee you whether you're spending a lot of money with untied or a different store whatever it may be typically they end up showing you love and helping you out in the long run so it's definitely always good to start building that rapport with certain sneaker stores and consistently buying from those same ones over time it'll definitely pay off in the long run and that's just a quick tip when it comes to spending money with resale stores or anybody in general if you guys want to learn more i built a full in-depth community that will teach you guys all the stuff you need to know a full eight week program we have monthly live meetups giveaways every single month as well and then all the community action that's going on every single day is super fun to be engaged with so if you guys want to hit the link down below in the description get signed up join the community i would love to see you guys on the inside and if you have any questions or need help when it comes to the shoe game taking your game to the next level using that leveling up purchasing real estate all those different things i can help you with it now let's take it to the next shoe this one's gonna be a good one next up right here we have the undefeated air force one retail on these was 150 bucks now if you look at somewhere like stock x or goat i get it 120 130 bucks but after fees next thing you know you're spending the same price luckily here at untied if you use the discount code dna show that'll get you guys free shipping and you don't gotta worry about waiting two weeks to get your shoes. It's in the DNA. I was made for it. It's in the DNA. The only choice I like. So one of the most common misconceptions when it comes to resale shops is everybody thinks that the shoes are always going for over the retail value and the prices are astronomical and you can't find good deals. But that's not always the case. You can actually find great deals and actually get sneakers for retail or under the retail value from stores like this. So that's why I wanted to highlight these type of things and show you guys in videos like this to give you guys good examples. So at the end of the day, don't get it twisted. Let's take it to the next shoe. Right here we have the Nike Dunk Low ASU. I think this is another great option. I know it doesn't fit for everybody's style and everything like that. And the price kind of does reflect that when it comes to style and fitting with different outfits. You can see that it's not as super expensive as the other ones where it's like 200, 300, 400 dollars for a pair of Dunks. You can actually get these for just over that retail price. So they got these listed at 130 bucks. And I think that's a really solid deal. Like I said earlier, use the code DNA show, get free shipping, pay that 130, and you're right there with the competitive market price when it comes 
comes to the sneaker. And I think this is a good addition to the collection or great for the rotation. Somebody who's just getting it started when it comes to sneakers and want to switch it up, have a different splash of color or something like that. Definitely a great option for the collection. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section when it comes to the ASU dunks. You know me, I'm a go ducks type of guy. So I don't know if it's for me, but at the end of the day, definitely still a solid shoe. Let's take it to the next one. Right here, we have the Air Jordan 2 Lucky Green. Now retail on these was like 190 bucks or something like that. But like I said before, you can get these for under retail. People always be hating on sneaker shops, but next thing you know, you're finding a good deal for the shoe. So not only is it matching the market price at 150 bucks, but again, you don't gotta pay the fees. So you're actually saving more money because after the fees, you're gonna be paying 180, $185, which is still under retail, but you can still be saving that 20, 30 extra bucks. And trust me when I tell you, saving 20, $30 here every single purchase, it starts to add up, which then you could potentially in the future use that money to buy another pair of shoes for your collection. And hopefully this video is helping you guys when it comes to that. Now let's take it to the next shoe. All right, so I'm taking over for this one because it is a women's release. This is the Sand Drift Dunk. Amazing material here, great neutral shoe for summer. I'm hoping to get these in my collection, but I wanna see if DJ will get them for me. <laughs> Not happening. Anyways, market value on these is 200, and Tide has them here for 200 as well, which means you're gonna save a little bit of money because you don't have to pay for fees. Right here, we have the Nike Air Force One color of the month. They are bringing it back with the OG style. We got the Nike branding on the back with the switch up, the different cuts, and I'm telling you right now, when it comes to the color of month pack, not only are you getting those retro vintage vibes, you get the toothbrush and all those things, the materials on all these shoes from this pack, literally every single colorway are fire. And they have almost every single colorway, but I wanted to highlight these ones in particular because I think it's a great summertime sneaker with the light pink, the gum bottom on there, the premium white leather, definitely a nice shoe. They want 125 bucks for this shoe. It's going for a little bit under that when it comes to other resale spots, but again, like I said, eliminate the fees, all those things. You're right there competitive with the market. And at the same time, that's the retail price. So and actually retail might be 150. I think it's either 125 or 150. Either way, at the end of the day, if you were to go to a Foot Locker or something like that and get the shoe, you're still gonna be spending that same dollar here and it's still available in your size. So definitely a nice shoe. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. I have them in my collection. I love it. I'm low key thinking about getting the entire color of the month set just because it's dope to see what they've been doing with the anniversary pack. And I'm interested to see what you guys think about it as well. Now, next up on the list, I wanted to throw a little curveball in here. Something that I think is still a sleeper because if this was a collaboration shoe, I guarantee you these would be like seven, $800. But because it's not, it's under the radar and you can get it for right around that retail value. And that's the Animal Instinct Air Jordan 3. I think this is another great option. I like this shoe a lot. I'm not sure which, some people like the animal side, you know, or the reptile type side with the different, with the leather and stuff. People are kind of deferring on which one they like more. Some people don't like them at all. Some people love them. I don't know. For me personally, this Animal Instinct colorway in particular, really, really clean shoe. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. I'm very interested. And if you want to get them, they do have multiple sizes available. So some of these shoes that, you know, they kind of go quick. And like I tell everybody, once you watch this video, make sure you guys go immediately because more people watch this video and they start buying up all this stuff and then you miss out on a good deal so don't sleep that's all i'm saying next up right here we have the skyline air jordan one this is a very good situation because these are actually retailing at 180 bucks and they have them available for 150 bucks here at the store so this shoe is definitely a very unique sneaker you got a lot of mixtures when it comes to material well, not a lot but a couple different mixtures with the canvas and the leather different things like that but obviously the colorway is very unique and interesting looking at the upper all throughout you definitely got the two different tones fading right there matching the same colors that you would see on the lid of the shoe box different things like that but at the end of the day this shoe literally just came out you probably could find these in store somewhere for retail and then you're gonna pay more money or you could just come to a resale shop and get them for a cheaper price so if this is a sneaker for you I definitely would recommend picking these up I'm low-key thinking about grabbing a size 13 I'm still on the fence but I still like these at the end of the day let me know what you think down below in the comment section all right you guys that's gonna do it 10 affordable options under 250 bucks I want to make sure that I can find current deals and current markets at different stores, different places, you name it. I wanna be able to help you guys out. So however I can, let me know down below in the comment section. If you guys are trying to see a video under 200 or 150 bucks, I would love to hear that as well. And maybe we can make it happen. And maybe I can talk to Untied to cut some more prices on some different sneakers. Either way, I wanna see you guys get the best deals out there. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in another one. And if you join the community, I can't wait to have you. All right, y'all, we out.
I would never let you down. If you made it to the end of this video and are still interested in the community and haven't joined yet, bruh, it's always open. Don't worry, take your time. But if you want to get in today, like I said, hit the link down below in the description. I'll see you guys on the inside. I'm here to help whatever you guys need. That's my goal. And I want to see everybody continue to grow and take their shoe game to the next level and then start investing in the real estate if they haven't. And if you have, then what's up? Let's do some deals because I'm trying to buy some more houses this year. I hey, hey, the hey, only bro. choice I like to make what I'm aware today. One of those. I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in the DNA.